Hey guys. So my name is Aviera. If you're new here, if you're not new here, welcome back. This is the new video. Before you guys go any further, if you're not subscribed already and you want to be a glam doll, then definitely hit that like and subscribe button so you can see all my videos here. And thanks for watching. So today we're going to be, I'll be doing an updated um, brow routine or just to show my brow routine. I was actually about to do um, film a spring makeup look. Um, and I thought, why not just do the brow routine first? So I have no makeup on, but I'm about to do um, that makeup video. So stay tuned for that video. But uh, yeah, let's get into these brows. First, let me apologize if you hear a crying child in the background. It's my one-year-old. First thing you're gonna need, well, the first thing I use is the Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. And it is by MAC. This is what it looks like. And um, yeah, you're just gonna take an angle brush. I have the kind with the spoolie on the other end and the angle brush on one side. And then I'm just gonna start filling in my brows. I'm gonna pick up product and start filling them in. I start lining, and I just messed that up, but I start lining on the bottom first and it just turns into me filling them in somehow. I never fill in the front of my brows too harshly because then I'll look crazy. Well, it has happened before, but I don't do it on purpose. Once you got this filled in, I just start flicking up and then it starts to slowly fill in the front of that brow for you. And this is pretty much the process until I get them to the desired darkness. I'm just taking the angle brush and taking it upside down. Well, you can't really see that. Taking it like that and doing some short little strokes in the front. And then going back in with my spoolie. telling y'all about this brow in particular it's my struggle brow and I have a scar that grows on well I'm just, I have a scar on that brow and it just makes it really difficult to fill in um, I have to pack product on that brow so that sucks so if it looks like I'm putting a lot on this one I am I'm not doing that too harsh in the front as you can see it actually looks kind of harsh in this light but I'm, I'm really not doing it that harshly in the front it does look a little crazy hopefully the concealer will fix that <laughs> and they're big my brows aren't this big but that's because I need a wax step two I'm gonna be using my LA pro wait LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn and this is what it looks like for everybody that doesn't know what the la girl concealer looks like and i'm gonna take another brush that has like a flat like a small little flat um head and use it to clean up my brows i'm just gonna take some off and go from there And I'm gonna purposely take some of this off because it's too thick. I drew it down too far. <laughs> mm, I took off too much. That's what I got right now. I did mess my brows up, but you get the gist of it. And you can adjust this routine how you feel knit. However you feel is works best for you. Um, 
it's not like in stone how you have to do your brows. This is just the way that works for me. Also, on your concealer, you want to like, you can get a shade that matches your skin color as close as possible. Or you can go light like a highlight if you like a, 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 a brighter area under your brow. It's up to you. There's no rules that say you have to get a certain color concealer. These are definitely sisters today and not twins. This one is just not, I screwed that one up. <laughs> this is just gonna have to work for me today because I messed it up. Okay, so we're done with that step. Next step, and this is totally optional, you can use a, like a little concealer kabuki brush to buff that out. Or you can do what I do, and this routine is to show you what I do. So I take a Q-tip and I wipe it off. And I get as close to this line as, or as close to the brow as I can without just totally wiping it off. So you wanna be careful when you do this. But yeah, this is what I do. This works for me. And that way, if I'm not wearing like makeup today, like foundation or whatever, then that, concealer line will be gone. Now, some people go on top of their brows with like the same color, like foundation or like of their uh, concealer, but I don't really care for that. The only way I'll do the top of my brows is if I like mess it up and I have to fix it. All right, so this is the end of the video. This is how my brows turned out. Even though I had a slight little mishap, you get the idea of my general routine. This is my brows. After wiping off the concealer, and voila, brows are done. Thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget if you're new here and you wanna see more, please subscribe and hit like so you can see everything I do. And uh, thanks again you guys for watching.